Let's install a pocket door. I'm a big fan of these Johnson brand kits. The rough opening needs to be 84 and a half inches tall and the width is two times the door plus one inch. I make a mark on both jams at 81 and a half inches measuring up off the subfloor. Then I drive a nail at the center of the jam, leaving it protruding an eighth inch on both sides. This hardware kit says do not remove, but I like to remove it and put it in a safe place for later, including these little rollers because they have a tendency to get lost or damaged during the drywall process. Depending on your door size, you may have to trim your kit, but they give you all the door sizes clearly marked out for you. Next, slip both ends of the header end plates over the nails. Using my speed square, I make sure the end plates are straight and go ahead and drive the nails in tight. Now I add three screws to the passage side of the header then before screwing the pocket door side, I use my level to make sure the header is level. If the header isn't level, the door might roll open or shut on its own. Stay tuned for part two or go to our channel for the full length video.